magandang umaga muli mga kapatid ko kay Kristo. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion. I'm so happy na makakasama muli kayo sa ating pag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon dahil alam ko na lahat po tayo sa ating uh, paglalakbay dito sa mundo, we are nothing apart from God. Kaya... Uh, I'm so blessed dahil sa araw na to, nakasama muli ko kayo at patuloy natin pag-aral yung salita ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. At dito, bago natin ipagpatuloy ang ating pag-aral, patuloy natin sambahin ang ating Panginoon, papurihan, pasalamatan sa bagong buhay na pinagkaloob muli niya sa ating pag-araw-araw na pamumuhay. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O God. We thank you for this new hope, new life, and a new beginning. We thank you also for this great privilege that you have given to us to study your word. And as we allow your Holy Spirit to work in us and through us, help us, Lord, to apply your word of truth in our daily lives as we continue to put our total trust in you to obey your laws, and to put our total confidence unto you alone through Jesus Christ. Because apart from you, we are nothing, but in your glorious presence, we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. So today, Father, put in our hearts the joy, the peace, the love that comes from you as we continue to study your word that will inspire us encourage us in every day of our lives and to be blessed and be a blessing to others for your greater glory and honor this is our prayer in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen mga kapatid ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon ay matatagpuan sa book of luke chapter 1 chapter 5 verse 1 to 11 one day as Jesus was preaching on the shore of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water edge, for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of Jesus' boats, Jesus asked Simon, It's honor to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, Simon replied, We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing, but if you say so, I let the nets down again. And this time their nets were so full of fish, they were began to tear a shout for help brought their partners in the other boat, and soon both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I am such a sinful man. For he was awestruck by the number of fish were the others with him. His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were all amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. So mga kapatid, dito sa ating scripture reading, How can we obey God? despite our situation, despite our past, despite our seemingly unreasonable in our lives. Kagaya ni Peter, nung tinawag siya ng Panginoon in a way na doon mismo sa kanyang livelihood, doon mismo siya sa uh, Sea of Galilee wherein he was been fishing all through the night, pero wala siyang nakuha kahit isa. Sometimes in our lives, dumating sa punto ng buhay natin na in the lowest point of our life, yung talagang 
as in na walang wala na tayo yung uh, kumbaga the lowest point of our lives na talagang wala na tayong ibang makakapati kakapitan kundi ang ating Panginoon and I want you to to put in to emphasize chapter 5 verse 4 when Jesus said when he had finished speaking he said to Simon now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to cut some fish sometimes as we are being busy in every day of our lives kagaya ni Peter fulfilling his daily duties am I willing to allow the Lord to interrupt my well-planned schedule or am I too busy so tignan po natin minsan sa buhay natin makikita natin na nangungusap na ng Panginoon sa ating buhay pero parang parang nandun pa rin yung, yung puso natin na Lord, nararapat ba ako? Paano na kung alam na ng tao ang aking nakaraan? Paano na kung malalaman nila yung family ko ang gulo-gulo? Am I still worth or effective to be your vessel to be used in your vineyard? Marami tayong minsan, marami tayong mga unreasonable na mga reasons, mga alibis na parang parang ayo nating sundin ang gusto ng Panginoon, yung pagtawag ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. But then as we see and read in the scriptures si Jesus Christ his command is specific and with authority. Yung nabasa natin sa verse 4, diba, nandun yung command niya, very specific, sabi niya, Now, go out when it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. So dito, may command siya, inutusan niya si, si Peter dahil alam niya na it, ito si Peter Nandun pa rin yung, yung agam-agam niya sa kanyang puso. Nandun yung doubt niya. Pa, paano, paano namin masasabi na, na makakakuha muli kami kung throughout the night, hindi, wala kami makuha. Pero sabi niya, doon sa verse 5 sabi niya, Master Simon replied, We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I let the nets down again. So at first, very hesitant siya, pero sabi niya, dahil sinabi mo, Panginoon, gagawin ko. So nandun pa rin yung obedience niya, nandun yung obedience niya to follow God's command in his life. And lo and behold, nung, nung talagang uh, ginawa niya yung pinapagawa ni God sa kanya, ba? there was uh, full, there was full of uh, fish in the boat. Hindi lang yung boat ni, hindi lang yung bangka ni Peter ang napuno ng fish, kundi pati rin yung bangka ni na James and John na kasama niya. So, pag imagine natin yung scenario na yun, nakikita natin na God is not also, God is not only interested with our salvation, but He's also interested with every day of our lives. Ang gusto lang ng Panginoon, tinitingnan niya yung puso natin, are we willing and available to be used by Him for the expansion of His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. At that time, nakita natin yung, yung uh, miracle working of Jesus Christ with a miraculous catch of fish. At dito natin nakita na the time na nakita talaga ni ni Peter yung ka, ka, uh, kapangyarihan ng Panginoon to provide his needs yung fish na yun sa provision niya sa kanyang uh, kanyang buhay ni Peter at hindi lang si Peter talagang kumbaga na extend yung blessing kina John and James at dito natin makikita sa 
uh, verse 8, sabi niya dito, When Simon Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. So, dito, kapag nakikita natin, sometimes pag nareceive na natin yung blessings, nakita natin yung miracle working God na kumikilos na sa ating buhay, marirecognize natin, marirealize natin na we are a sinful man. Makasalanan din tayo and we need a savior. Kaya sinabi ni Peter doon na sabi niya, Oh Lord, please leave me. I am a sinner. Sometimes sa buhay natin, there are times talaga na, Lord, karapat dapat pa rin ba ako na gamitin mo ang aking nakaraan? Kumbaga, mas marumi pa sa basahan ang karanasan ko. Karapat dapat pa rin ba ako? Sometimes, yun yung sinasabi natin sa sarili natin na, Lord, tama ba na ako ay sumunod sa'yo? Marami tayong mga alalahanin, marami tayong mga mga questions sa ating buhay. Kumbaga, ina-understimate natin ang sarili natin. Pero, we know that God knows the best for us. And He used ordinary people to, to display His extraordinary works of His hands para sa gayon. It's not for us, but it's for His glory at Malala at makikita ng mga tao that we are serving a miraculous working God in our lives at doon natin makikita na through that blessing na receive natin it will also be extended hindi lang po sa ating uh, family kundi to the different people na nangangailangan talaga ng pag-asa nangangailangan ng salvation nangangailangan ng ang mga tao na mag encourage sa kanila. So, dito natin nakita that at first, di ba, si, si Jesus Christ, He called the ordinary people to display His extraordinary work for His greater glory and honor. And secondly, dito makikita natin na Jesus' calling is significant and with power. At dito natin makita sa verse uh, 10, sinabi, His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. And Jesus replied to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. So, dito natin makikita na very specific, unan is very specific yung command niya. At dito, in a, Pinakita ng Panginoon na very significant ang pagtawag niya sa atin and at the same time, nandun yung kapangyarihan niya. So, pinakita ng Panginoong Heso Kristo yung una yung authority niya, nandun yung command niya and next, dito nakikita din natin si Jesus Christ na He called us significantly and with His power. Kaya, Sabi dito, don't be afraid, from now, on, from now on you'll be fishing for people. At dito nati, nakikita natin na si Peter, from that time out, iniwanan niya ang kanyang uh, livelihood, kumbaga iniwanan niya yung kanyang occupation as catching fish at sumunod sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And that is... Uh, to sharing the gospel of salvation at makikita natin doon sa sa kanyang unang-unang preaching doon sa Acts 2.41 nung time na yun na those who believe what Peter said were baptized and added to the church that day about 3,000 in all so imagine from that fisherman naging siyang very dynamic evangelist preaching and sharing the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the people. At ganun din po tayo mga kapatid. Are we willing to obey God and to heed His calling upon our lives? Alam niyo po mga kapatid, nung time na 
tinawag ako ng paginoon it was also my lowest point in my life kumbaga naging zero balance lehat zero balance sa sa uh, financial zero balance sa sa family kumbaga in a way na hindi na masyadong maayos noon sa marriage life sa mga relasyon sa aking mga anak kumbaga bilang bilang an OFW napakahirap po talaga pero bilang isang ina you need to sacrifice everything for the sake of your family that was the time na the Lord was calling me to be a part of his vineyard at dun ng time na yon Talagang sinabi ko rin sa sarili ko, Lloyd, karapat dapat ba ako? Sa dami-dami na nang ginawa ko, nakasalanan, sa dami-dami ko na nagawa na hindi ka ay ay at hindi ka lugod-lugod sa'yo. Lloyd, karapat dapat ba ako na magsilbi sa'yo? Pero glory to God po and praise His holy name kasi God is not looking for For, uh, yung mga tao talaga na yung mga righteous people hindi siya tumitingin sa mga kung sino ka man ano man yung, yung, ano man yung rank mo sa society regardless of who you are God is looking for someone whom He will use as an empty vessel to be filled by the Holy Spirit at yun po mga kapatid ang buhay ko bilang isang OFW, I'm so thankful kahit taglay-taglay ko noon yung mga yung mga kapighatian na mawalay sa family, yung lungkot na nandun ka na inaalagaan mo yung ibang family instead na yung family mo, nandun ka sa isang kultura na hindi mo alam, nandun ka yung lahat, yung ibang-ibang lahi na kasama mo sa isang bahay, Di ba napakaraming circumstances? Pero, I really thank God kasi iyon yung way ng Lloyd para makilala ko siya. And at the same time, to heed upon the calling of the Lord in my life to be a part of His vineyard for His honor and glory. So mga kapatid, sa ating buhay, bilang isang Krisyano, or sa ngayon hindi ka pa masyadong deeply rooted sa kanyang mga salita, Huwag kang mag-aalala kapatid dahil ang Panginoon, hindi siya tumitingin kung anong status ka ng buhay, kung maging sino ka man. Ang tinitingnan ng Panginoon, gaano ka ba ka-obedient or kung gaano ka ba ka-willingness yung kalooban mo, yung puso mo na handa para maglikod sa Kanya. Ang tinitingnan ni God, hindi yung status ng buhay mo. Hindi tinitignan ni God kung ano yung nakaraan mo. Hindi tinitignan ni God kung ano yung present situation mo ngayon. Ang tinitignan niya, are you willing to obey Him? Are you willing to heed upon His calling in upon your life? Lahat naman po tayo, iba-iba, iba-ibang calling sa ating buhay. Pero, ang bottom line is, are we willing to obey Him? Are we willing to be used by Him? For the expansion of His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. I thank God kasi kahit dito sa morning daily devotion, dito natin nakikita na God is using each and every one of us. Hindi lang, hindi lang kami na nagsishare ng word of God, pero kayo rin po, naging inspiration din po kayo sa aming buhay. Kasi kung wala kayo, wala rin kami dito. And we thank God kasi Nandun, nandyan yung perseverance nyo nandun yung enthusiasm nyo nandun yung determination nyo na every day of your life pinaglalaanan nyo para makinig ng salita ng Panginoon sa inyong buhay so kagaya ng author natin dito actually ang kanyang uh, title dito is yung washing nets washing nets means missing ito yung isang metaphor na ginamit ng Panginoon na Uh, pag, pagkuha kumbaga yung to catch fish ganun din po minsan ano yung mga resources natin ano yung mga mga, mga, mga dapat natin gawin for us to be an effective 
uh, evangelists or to be an effective uh, worker of God in His vineyard. So, marami po mga paraanan. We can grow deeper with the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ through listening to the Word of God, through reading the Word of God, which is in the Holy Bible or the Scriptures, and through communicating with the Lord God through prayers. Kaya, minsan, hindi natin alam ang kaparaanan ni God, but God's ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. May magandang plano ang Panginoon sa ating buhay, mga kapatid. And I thank God dahil and this, in, uh, in CHCC, dito natin makikita yung uh, sense of belongingness at dito na build up ang ating faith at dito na build up at nakikita natin ano nga ba yung calling ko sa buhay ko para sa Panginoon. At And I thank God dahil uh, sinabi dito rin sa ating uh, scripture reading talaga kanina na napaka, napakabuti ang Panginoon dahil hindi siya tumitigin sa mga kung sino ka man, kung ano yung natapos mo, kung ano yung kalagayan mo sa society, kung ano yung uh, sitwasyon mo, kundi tinitignan ni God your willingness and your obedience to follow Him just like Peter. At sinabi dito ni yung, yung author natin, si Carl Martin Lillet, sabi niya, The Lord never asks us to give up something unless He gives something better in return. So mga kapatid, are you willing to obey and heed the calling of the Lord upon your life? Siguro, uh, ang calling mo kapatid is to share the word of God through your work. Hindi naman necessary na uh, nandun ka sa sa isang uh, sa isang uh, company kumbaga na you will nilalagay ka ng lurid dyan sa work mo dahil may purpose si God sa'yo nilalagay ka dyan sa family na yan dahil may purpose si God sa family na yan so in different ways hindi naman lahat pare-parehos ang pagtawag ng Panginoon sa ating buhay and in different ways also Iba-ibang calling din. Kung yung talent mo, magaling ka sa singing, magaling ka sa mananalita, or magaling ka sa kung ano mga bagay na mayroong ka, gagamitin ni Lord dyan, your resources. Kagaya ni Peter, yung resources niya, yung uh, net niya, yung boat niya, talagang pinagamit niya sa Lord. Kung baga, uh, ito yung resources niya for him to be used as the mighty evangelist for reaching other souls, the lost souls, and bringing them to the kingdom of God. So, yun lang po mga kapatid. I hope and pray na the Lord will bless each of us at patuloy tayo na manalangin, humingi ng guidance, humingi ng uh, pangunawa sa Panginoon para lalo natin maintindihan ano nga ba yung calling ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. And God will be... Uh, truly be delighted in us if we are really willing to be used for Him, for His glory and order. So let us pray. Father God in heaven, we worship and glorify Your holy name. Truly indeed, You are an awesome and miraculous working God. We thank You for, for Your loving kindness and faithfulness that endures forever. Please continue to open the eyes of our hearts to obey you and be sensitive with the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We ask for your divine anointing as you call us to be a part of your harvest field. We acknowledge that apart from you, we are nothing, but in your glorious presence, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Please help us to live according to your will and purpose in our lives for your glory and honor. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Maraming salamat po mga kapatid. Hope and pray that the Lord will continue to speak unto our hearts through this word and encourage you to be a part of His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you and God bless. Hope to see you also in the 8 o'clock habit of our uh, devotion also with Pastor Arnell and his family. Thank you and God bless. Bye! We love you with the love of the Lord.